Welcome back again and today we will discuss nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes should be used to help younger children learn to speak by having them remember phrases and lexical chunks. Intermediate students can learn these for word placement. You can find a plethora of nursery rhymes on the internet. I'm placing a few here so you can have a few before you begin your teaching to give an idea of what to teach. An example. This is the way we wash out clothes. This classic nursery rhyme will teach children about chores, wash, cook and clean, lexical chunks, make our bed, wash our clothes etc. You can add any other chore you would like. Remember when using this nursery rhyme you have to act it out as you do it. When you cook, pretend you are cooking, when you are making the bed, pretend you are making a bed. This will show students what the words mean when you are doing them. Other nursery rhymes are Little Boy Blue Wee Willy Winky Remember when you teach nursery rhymes you should act out the actions so the children know what the words mean. If you are talking about running, run, if you are talking about looking through a window, then look through a window. It makes the lesson so much interesting for the student to know what the songs mean. Songs If a child learns to sing a song to a catchy beat they are more likely to remember a sentence. While most songs are copyrighted and cannot be written here, I have compiled a list of songs that can be sung in the classroom to teach the students a variety of phrases and sentence structure. Here are some of my favorite songs. Most of these are nursery rhymes and can be used with smaller children. On top of spaghetti. This song is perfect to teach prepositions while having fun. Ravioli. This is a song sung to the Russian tune Moscow Nights and helps students locate certain parts of the body. Itsy Bitsy Spider. It's raining it's pouring. One two, buckle my shoe. This old man. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes. This song keeps repeating with the every repeat of the song you skip a body part. The first time you skip head, the second time head and knees, the third head, shoulders, knees and so forth until you are only pointing at the body parts. There are many other songs that you can use. The ones I found to be the most useful, other than the above were. Bingo. Puff the magic dragon. I never had more questions about a dragon than I did with this. Song. They like this song. The alphabet song. The unicorn song. Children love to sing about animals. The theme to SpongeBob SquarePants, who doesn't love SpongeBob? The ants go marching in. The Sloop John B. Children who study all the time and are bored love this song. The CHACHA slide. PT2. Great listening tool. The Hokey Pokey. This song teaches body parts. Well that is all the time we have for today. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you again.